Hello, in this video, I am going to show you something like really, really cool. So what we're going to do is cover how to play PS2 games on your PS4. You heard that correctly, PS2, PlayStation 2 on your PlayStation 4. So obviously this assumes you have a PS4. It assumes your PS4 is jailbroken. I've got a separate video covering that. So feel free to check that out in the description. I will put a link to the PlayStation 4 hacking playlist so you can see all the different videos including the jailbreak setup video as well so the next thing i'll recommend is that you go to this website i will provide a link to it in the description and it is the you know compatibility list and you can see which games are compatible and you know if they're fully playable if there's minor issues what the minor issue is because i will be playing or you know showing you black it has some minor issues it's some little sound problems you know, i have noticed that so it's not that bad and you know that game does work for me so just you know have a look at this obviously if it's unplayable then you know you're out to look but if it's you know playable or minor issues then depending on the issue you know you can you know have a go and this will obviously you know get updated and you know get better support as time goes on so yeah have a look at that there will be a link to this in the description next what we need to do is download ps2 fpkg again i will provide the link to this in the description so if you scroll down you know if you're on here you just go to you know this download link click the download button and i do already have it downloaded i've already got this version downloaded so i'm going to cancel it but obviously you won't be doing that and you also need 7-zip so download 7-zip if you again google 7-zip and go to this website or i will provide a link in the description and you want one of these two versions if you have a let me show you so if you go to your computer go to computer system properties if it says 64-bit operating system there then you want 64-bit or you can use 32-bit but if you say 32-bit operating system in that you know settings section you can only use 32-bit i want to use this one so if i just click that again i've already got it so i'm going to cancel this and now we're all good to go so this assumes that you have an iso of your game regardless you know you could have ripped it you could have got it from other source again i want to say this video is not condoning piracy this is not what that video is about this is for research purposes for educational purposes and i'm assuming that you are using games that you own i own black you know the original copy i've got it at my parents house love this game absolutely love it okay so first of all you want to install 7-zip load this up and for you you'll probably put it in the c drive feel free to put it wherever you want this is just going to overwrite it for me and that's it simple as that now we need to extract the ps2 fpkg so right click go to 7-zip extract 2 and just let it extract it and now we can open this open this and open this ps2-fpkg.exe let this launch up and now in here we need to select the disk there's only one disk for this game so just select that disk mine in downloads chrome black and it figures out the mp title and the title as well which is fantastic you can leave use compression on default if it doesn't work and the game is meant to work try without it i haven't had any issues like that but again feel free to for the emulator keep it as jack v2 again more than welcome to experiment but that is what you generally want to do with all this other stuff you generally want to leave this as in if you know what you're doing and always there's some graphical issues then you can try and select it as you can you know see you know what game that you know it should fix and you know if there's anything else that you want to modify for free but this is generally what you need to do next what we want to do is add an icon in the background as you can see it says if you don't add one you'll put a default one but let's add one so the icon we ideally want that to be a square and so if i type in black ps2 cover if it's not a square it just has some black bars you know around it so it's not a square but 
actually start the end of the world. Hopefully if I just type in square. Hmm. You know what? I'll just use uh, this one. Uh, it's not the highest res, but it'll do. It will do. So go to desktop, save that. JPEG is fine. It's supposed JPEG or what's the other one? PNG. And, and for the background, we're going to have I do like this image, this one here. So I'm going to do save image, save it to the desktop, close that link down, and now go to the icon, go to that, go to background, select that, and I'm going to click create FPKG. If I click that, it will now ask where I want to create it to. And before we do this, actually, you also need to make sure that you have obviously a USB stick. I'm using a USB 3.0 stick, I've got one right here. And if you haven't already set this up in the right format, maybe you have for a previous video, like the setup video or the PSX, you know, games video, you want to format it, go to XFAT, allocation, unit size, per default, Feel free to name it whatever you want. I've left that as default. Quick format and click start. Okay. Okay, close. And there we go. And now you can either create this somewhere else and then copy the file over. It needs to be on the root or just click directly to your USB stick. Click OK. Uh, uh, I guess I can't. We can't select the root, so I will select downloads chrome click ok that's just the info a little command prompt window will pop up and this is the percentage of 0 to 100 depending on the size of the game this one is pretty large it is like 3 point something gigabyte obviously with compression you'll probably get smaller but you know depending on the game will depend on how long this process actually takes and so yeah, once this is done, we can actually copy it onto our, the root of our USB stick. We have to do that manually. And then we can install it on our jailbroken PS4. So again, make sure your PlayStation 4 is jailbroken. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that step. I'm just going to mute the audio till this is actually successfully created. And that's it. So he started doing it like really quickly there. So let's go back to our down our Chrome directory. And that's it right there. And it's probably has 1.27 gigabytes. So it has compressed it by almost a two thirds. So it's almost a third of the size. And if I go to Kingston, paste it into the root. And obviously, depending on the speed of your USB stick and the original drive, this speed will vary. Plus, also depends on you know the size of the file. So just wait for this to complete. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. That's it. That's that done. Now, what we're gonna do? I can close all this process. It's finished. I know because I've copied it over. X that, and I'm going to eject my USB stick. And just waiting for it to eject. That's ejected now. Unplug this bad boy. Now let's switch over to the PS4 and actually install this. Okay, so now we are on the PS4 now. Make sure you put in your USB stick with the game into your PlayStation 4. Doesn't matter what USB port it is. And now go to settings. Again, this is on the assumption that you have a jailbroken PS4 and it is jailbroken because currently it is a tethered you know jailbreak so you have to you know jailbreak every time you know you turn your system off and on again mm -hmm. so go to debug settings go to game go to package installer your game will appear right there so obviously make sure you know which one it is because there may be multiple games the other thing you can do if you have multiple just rename the package because this is black I could have renamed it to black for example click X it will start 
installing it'll say edit to download that is fine it's not downloading anything it's just the way that it you know you know does it with the system now it's installing it and then after that it's done back there again we shall see a nervous or a toast star notification that says ready to use once it says that we're all good to go so not yet not yet there we go ready to use we're all good to go so we can click the playstation button there we go there is black so i'm going to turn the volume up click x that's the background and the thumbnail you know that we chose so otherwise it would just put default stuff in here now it's you know just in a little playstation 2 intro and yeah it's loading up black on my playstation 4 <laughs> Gonna turn the volume down now again. I just wanted to, you to see so the volume does work, and that is it. So that is how you play PlayStation 2 games on your PlayStation 4. You can press the PlayStation button and just chill here and you know just do all the stuff as you normally would, and you can resume it again. So that's it, really simple. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. I've got another video. And how to set up your jailbreak, which you do need to do for this one. I've got another video on how to install PlayStation 1 games right there. It might look like that is Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. No, it's not. It is Crash Bandicoot 1. I've just put a, like in a, a fan made It's About Time cover on it. So you can do cool stuff like that as well. It's quite a nice looking, you know, cover art. So that's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. All the you know links to everything that I mentioned on the PC part of this video at the start will be in the description. If for a reason I you know miss anything, just let me know. You know, don't hesitate. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.